feels like all I've been doing lately is taking one wrong turn after another into a blind alley. I took a wrong turn that night, all right. I found myself in a deserted area down by the docks. It was late and I was tired. I'd only come off duty, you know. Just wanted to get home. Anyway, I came across these two Egypts Jimmy in the door of this car. My first impulse was to keep on driving. Then I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna have to stop. Peace of mind, whatever. your planet I had to let them go it was David <laughs> come on make it you have to laugh what are the odds eh it was your fella don't know I've no idea who he hangs around with these days he was an odd one though foreign too many of them foreigners coming in here, ask me. What's he playing at? Could it be drugs? What are you asking? Of course, drugs is one thing. It doesn't stop there. What do you mean? Joe's just weighing you. Stay with us, Frank. What do you mean? Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're only messing. So David's only a lad, he's just getting involved in shit the way lads do. Is he not sticking to his football? Nah, it's all gone to pot. He hasn't played in. Christ, he hasn't even trained in I don't know how long. No joke. I thought he was going to be another wee Georgie best. No, when he was younger. He may as well know. He's got epilepsy now. Epilepsy? Jesus Christ. I mean, he has the drugs for it, like it's under control most of the time, but uh, I worry about him. My right. I can't believe the life I'm living. Do you ever feel like that, Joe? Never thought I'd have to bring David up alone. It's like a curse was laid on me when Bernie died. Michael. I got here as soon as I could. She passed away quietly, Michael. She was a no pain at the head. Has David been told yet? He's at uh, football practice. I'll be picking him up later. I'll tell him then. Come on, we leave Michael alone with Bernie for a while. We'll be outside if you need us.
Is, is everything okay? David. David, don't right. come back. Hospital now. Accident and emergency. Uh, my son was admitted this evening. What's your son's name? Um, David. Uh, David McKee. Yes, he's in Ward C, room 5, just beyond the double doors. Is he going to be all right? You are? I'm his father. I see. Well, he suffered a grand mal and been sedated. His condition has stabilised. You can thank his lucky stars he had a friend who kept his head. He acted very promptly in bringing your son here. Sometimes you have all this stuff going on in your head and then something happens and it's like you wake up. You open your eyes and see things as if for the first time. And those thoughts you were having don't seem real anymore. 